What is up guys? What is up guys? Fahan here with Za once again. And today we are at Gordon Warehouse for Za's unboxing of his new bike. Eh? We're gonna meet up with the guys at Moro Sport. Okay, come let's go. Hey, 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 uh, Leon, nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. Hey, it's been a while. Nice to meet you. Yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while. <laughs> Thank you very much, Leon, for acceding to our request. Uh -huh. As you can see behind me, this is my new bike. Right off a ship, huh? As you all know, I have already upgraded my license my, to a class 2A for a few months now. And uh, many of you have been asking, what bike am I going to get? So for practical reasons, I decided to get myself a scooter. The guys at Kimco are very helpful enough to accede to my request to do an unboxing video. What model? Come, <laughs> let's find out. This is my bike, right? The Kimco. Still in the box, nobody has done this before. Yeah, fresh out of the container. <laughs> uh. So far, we've done a lot of unboxing on our own, but definitely there is no video being done. This is the first time it's being done with a video recording. So hopefully, this video, we can see how the bike comes fresh from the container. container. <laughs> yes, <laughs> still correct. unboxed, still raw, you know, it this is still raw. It has cleared customs, by the way. Uh. Yeah, that's why it's here. Like. If it's not clear customs, it must be inside. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to Za. Happy birthday to me. Yay! <laughs> okay. Alright, then. One more, one more, one more. One more. You forget one more candle. <laughs> Yay! <Woo. laughs> Preview, uh. They're still in the plastic wrap. Uh. Really fresh from the containers, uh, this one. How you feel seeing your bike being unboxed right now? I have never felt so delighted, you know? I was like, wow! <laughs> People roll off the showroom. I roll off from the box, come out, and I see it for myself. <laughs> <laughs> So fresh out of the crate, uh, there's actually no windshield. So Leon, what's this? Uh? All this. Under the underseat compartment, there's the battery over here. Mm. You see in the red box. Then there's the, this is the muffler cover. Mm. Then this is the uh, exhaust head. Mm. Then for this one, owner's manual. Fresh. <laughs> fresh, huh? Yeah, fresh. And this one is the side mirror. Side mirror. From the front, yes. So this is ah. where the battery will be sitting as well. Mm. So that's why after everything is done, then they'll fix it up together with the windscreen. Mm -hmm. ah, smell fresh from the factory. Got smell of Taiwan, right? Oh yes, it smells of <laughs> Taiwan. <laughs> okay, thank okay, you. thank you. Now that we have already unboxed the bike, yes. what else do we need to do before this bike uh, gets on the road? So before this bike goes on the road, uh, other than fixing up the battery and all the other uh, necessity, uh, we will be doing our PDI as well before it goes to the customer. So PDI includes the checking of the engine oil, all the other miscellaneous in terms of the tyre, the brake pads as well. Even though it's fresh off the box, we want to make sure that everything goes to the customer fresh and new. Mm. PDI is what? What is it? Uh, Pre-delivery inspection. Ah, okay, okay, okay. So where will we be? Where will you be doing the uh, installation and pre-delivery instruction? In, uh, Inspection. <laughs> we'll be doing the PDI back at our workshop uh, where our mechanic has all the tools and the, the machine for them to jack the bike up. So mm -hmm. after they do their check uh, and everything is done, then it will be good to go from the workshop itself. For the next part of this video, we will be interviewing Leon and uh, we will talk more about Kimco and the brand and everything about the bike. Lah. <laughs> Alright guys, so uh, today is May the 4th. Uh, May the fourth be with you. Uh. We received some news that the COE actually went down to 5,200. So I'm here with Zah right now. And I'm so sorry uh, on the COE. Uh. But what are your thoughts right now? I'm very disappointed. I'm very disheartened. Because on the, I just bought a new bike. And I, was, I did the unboxing on the third. <laughs> it's already been registered at the, uh, the price of 12k COE. Anyway, I, I'm like, I, I, I'm lost forward, you know. I just want to, I want to curse, but I cannot curse. I mean, because in Shawal, I yeah. cannot curse. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if I want to curse, who, who I want to curse to? Mm. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the price drop, um, 
in my opinion, yes, I the the recent move, the recent uh, move by LTA to adjust uh, uh, the COE bidding uh, regulation rules uh, does make it a fair one, mm. right? Uh, you know, having seen the sudden drop in price is is a really huge surprise to everyone. Yeah. Everyone, yeah. everyone is surprised. You know, if I was expecting it what to be dropped, uh, maybe like to ten thousand, nine thousand around that, but to drop until five thousand, it's like wow. But then we have to see how long this uh, trend will be because um, maybe this is just a, a knee-jerk action mm. from the sudden change in LTA bidding rules but also it becomes unfair when you have players who have deep pockets when you have players uh, bidding for the limited COE right? Then you have deep pockets. You don't mind, you know, forking out a bit more money yeah. to in that one. Even though it is, uh, you have only one month to hold the bike. I want to say a certain certain party uh, spoil the market. Also, I don't want to see it later. They will not uh, help us. <laughs> <laughs> On our part, I think we shouldn't go and rush and buy the bikes mm -hmm. because that is gonna shoot it up back again I mean it is very tempting to buy a bike wow yeah. so I also cheap. actually tempted no? but then after consulting with Zah uh, decided not to lah. Mm -hmm. uh, because there is a chance that it may go down hopefully, uh, hopefully. there is a chance also I believe it will go down uh, hopefully I mean uh, everybody in the industry mm -hmm. will help to bring this price down you know the, the lower I mean, it's a government tax. Mm. COE is a form of government tax that is being uh, manipulated and speculated by private entities. If there is any way that we, all of us, consumer uh, and businesses can help bring down the COE prices you know, and just sell the bike, you have more sales. You want more sales, right? Mm. You want more, more sales. More sales means more profit. I mean, but then again, Businesses are earning from the interests. Yeah, of course. Uh, that's how they earn. Mm. Seriously, yeah. Speaking from our experience, uh, uh, I think you shouldn't rush out to buy the bikes. Uh. Mm -hmm. yeah, no matter how tempting it is, uh, just really consider your options. Yeah, I know you still got one month, but so. <laughs> yeah, I mean, at the end of the one month, also they have to repeat again. Mm. Yes, correct. You know, if the 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 COE doesn't sell, you, know, you have to repeat again, bid again, and then with the high. Uh, deposit mm. now, last time is 200 then they up to 800 now it's 1005 you know 1005 is a bit okay mm. you know they want to take also Alma. cannot mm. too much for so uh, mm. uh. mm. 1005 uh. so I can see that on social media the bike shops also are tempting you guys uh, but uh, on our end as consumers we need to keep a look out so, uh. yeah. because sometimes uh, they also may raise the machine price also in order to compensate for the lower COE. All kinds of things uh, the bike shop will play, can play. Uh. But, but <laughs> stage, uh, I just bought my bike. I, uh, I just bought my bike. So. Uh, I also feel bad for you. But what to do? What to do is like that. Uh. I'm heard it from the man himself who bought who bought his bike yesterday. Who got his bike yesterday, but today the COE went down. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You don't do sorry. <laughs> no, I find it amusing at the same time also, but I pity him also lah. <laughs> what to do, what to do. Having said that, uh, I definitely have to, you know, use and abuse my new bike <laughs> until the end of the COE lah. <laughs> but oh, oh, until you finish paying for it. Yeah, I mean, I'm not the kind of person who wants to change bike every now and then, every often lah. Mm. How many times have you seen me change bike? Oh, right. Uh, my tourism from very bright yellow uh, until become dusty. So I can just go up and fix. So still the same. Uh, still, yeah. I mean, I will definitely be using uh, using it until the end. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, because I doubt I doubt anybody wants to buy my tourism, especially after you know high mileage. 
Bagus ah, is collector item ah, nice sign ah. Za. Tu, memang tu dia kena set. 20,000. Yeah, that's it for the vlog. And we'll see you in the next one. Give me all the